In today's tutorial, I'll show you guys how to get this mauve makeup look using the Lorac Pro Palette. Hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. As always, I'm starting off with my Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz, and then I'm using my Face of Australia Face Base Primer, and I'm just applying that onto my face using my hands. I'm also using the Face of Australia Eye Primer in matte, and I'm applying that to my eyelids and my eyebrows because I don't want them to be melting off, and here's a really hot face of me applying that. And yeah, I'm just rubbing that in with my fingers, and then I'm going to be setting that with some translucent powder. Then for my foundation, I'm mixing the Bourjois Healthy Mix and the Maybelline Fit Me with two drops of rosehip oil because it gives the skin a really nice, jewelry feeling and I'm using my stippling brush just to apply that to my face evenly. Then I'm taking my favourite concealer in the world, the Napoli No One Concealer, and I'm applying it to my blemishes, around my nose where the redness is, and also the triangle where my eye bags are prominent underneath my eyes, and I'm blending that in as well. Then I'm applying another concealer, this is the Ben Naiolo Special Highlight Concealer and I'm applying it in a triangle formation underneath my eyes as well as on my forehead, down the sides of my nose and kind of around my nose to get rid of that redness that's there. Works really well to neutralise it. Oh and I forgot my Cupid Spur as well and then I'm just blending that out with a flat foundation brush from Revlon. Then to set my under eye conceal I'm using the Ben Nye Banana Powder which is amazing and I have a video dedicated to how I apply that in detail as well as a review so I'll definitely leave that for you guys to see and I'm taking a Kabuki brush just to wipe off all that excess powder. Then moving on to cream highlight I'm using my e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip in Lilac Petal and I'm applying it to the highest points in my cheeks as well as my Cupid Spur and underneath my brow bone. If you guys aren't all about the highlight life then you guys can definitely skip this step. I'm using a stippling brush just to blend that away. Then I'm using the Ben Nye Beige Suede Powder all over my face with the Powder Puff from that Wayne Gotts Technic I was telling you guys about and I'm applying that all over my face and it gives the most beautiful applied coverage in the whole world. And of course I'm taking a Kubiki brush just to wipe off all that excess powder. Here I'm just brushing my brows before I go ahead and fill them and I'm using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in dark and I'm just taking that gel and I'm just applying it towards the end and then eventually to the front of my brow. I was going in and cleaning and brushing it where I can. I'm just filling my brows in really softly. I try not to go for thick arched eyebrows because it always ends up a huge mess when I do and then I'm cleaning that up with the Ben Nye Yellow Concealer. Then I'm just setting the brows with the Essence Brow Gel. Then I'm mixing Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and Talk from the palette and I'm placing it as a transition shade in the crease of my eyes. I'm just really packing that and blending it, layering it and then blending it out with a fluffy brush. Then I'm just taking more from the palette and I'm placing it in the outer edge of my eye, really packing that and then sweeping whatever I have left towards the center. I'm just repacing that till I layer it and then taking a smaller brush and really focusing on that inner corner. I'm going back in with the top just to soften that and blend it out a little bit more. Then I use Chi Chi's Baked Eyeshadow in Call Me for my lid color, just packing that on with a wet brush. Then using the same brush I used for mauve, I'm just blending out the lid colour a little bit more. Then for my lash line I'm using sable and mauve and I'm using a small detailer brush just to apply it. Then I'm using this matte eggshell colour to highlight my brow bone. Nearly done with the eyes, I'm using a black Rimmel Coal Eyeliner to line my top waterline and using their nude one to line my bottom waterline. Then I'm curling my lashes and applying my favourite mascara that is sadly drying out. It's the Elizabeth Arden one and I'm just applying just light coats, not too much. Then I'm just taking a black Coal Eyeliner pencil and applying it to the small brush and I'm just applying it as if I would apply normal gel liner. This is really good for those people who are really bad at liner and just want a soft smoked out look like I am. I'm also applying mascara on my bottom lashes. Then I'm using this warm bronze matte shade from the Australis Contour Kit and I'm going to be applying it onto areas of my face where I would normally bronze just to give myself a glow and to be used as a transition shade for the contour shade later. By the way, I did record a first impressions review, that's why you're seeing this video again and I'll link that down below if you want to watch it in detail, so sorry about that. Then I'm just taking this greyish contour shade and I'm applying it just to my cheekbones just softly just to really chisel out and bring out my cheekbones a little bit more. And then I'm blending whatever I have left with the, another brush and yeah. Then I'm just using that same greyish contour shade and I'm using that to contour my nose and blending it out as well. Then I'm just taking the banana shade and placing underneath my cheekbones to make them more prominent as well as underneath my eyes. It doesn't cake up which is really really great. Then I'm just applying this shimmery highlight shade to the top of my cheeks and then using the matte highlight on the bridge of my nose and a bit on my forehead. 
Then I'm using my favourite blush, the e.l.f. Bake Blush in Peachy Cheeky, and I'm just applying it on the sideways motion, not really on the apples of my cheeks. Then moving on to lips, I'm going to be using my favourite combo, the Prestige Lip Liner and NYX Matte Lipstick in Euro Trash. I just love this combo so much, it goes with everything, and I'm just applying it from the bullet. that completes the final makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed this i quick. did do a review at the same time on the astralis ac on tour contour kit and that would have been up before this so definitely check that out i'll just leave that over here so you guys can check that out don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave me a comment if you want to and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already bye